What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. I'm in Centerville at my friend's house right now and I'm in his basement. And see here, he got a setup down here, right there, for all his tropical trees. So we got, he got a bunch of trees this year that he started to buy and collect. Um, so he got some kumquat and some lemon and a mango tree right here. All right, so we'll give you guys a tour real quick. But, um, but in this video, I want to share with you guys how to hand pollinate your my lemon because right now it's November and it's pretty much the season for the citrus tree is blooming. So because it is indoor and you have no pollinator in here, you need to hand pollinate your lemon or any citrus tree to get fruit. So let's go. So I can see here this lemon, this my lemon right here is pushing out a lot of flowers right now, right? And you need to hand pollinate this because my friend was saying like he doesn't get any fruit and this is like his first year of getting all these nice beautiful flowers so all these beautiful cluster flower right here right and even though he said like he got like some tiny fruit set like this but then it's gonna drop all right the reason it dropped because is that the pollination is not correct um it did not get pollinated properly so that's why it dropped okay so two there's two flowers on your citrus plant um it's similar to the pomegranate as well so right here this is the male flowers right here and then this is a female flower so the female flower that's where the fruit is at it has this big antenna coming out a stigma right here all right so what you want to do is you want to take the male flower and then you want to go and pollinate on the stigma right so now this one is set okay that's hand pollinate number one and you got one over here as well you want to go and come over here and dab on it as well right there all right and on here all right so you don't need any fancy q-tip or anything like that um so just pick up the male flower and then just start dabbing it on top of the female flower it's right here usually like this whole cluster it's always blossom with like male and female flowers so just pick up some of the male flower and just start rubbing on it like so all right let's pick this fresh one right here so that way we get this thing to set fruit properly in the winter so you guys gotta make sure just to get in there and touch all of it and make sure no branch get left out so this way that we will get a higher chance of fruit setting on each branch And I really like my lemon because when they set flower, they like set it out. They put out like crazy flower. And if you put this tree in your house, it will smell like amazing. All right, we got some over here, so I just want to make sure of it get pollinated while I'm here doing this. All right, now let's take a quick tour of his setup and let's show you guys what he got in here. So here you have another lemon tree. Uh, this one, uh, Vietnamese, Asian, they use it in the cooking with the leaves. I don't know what the variety is. And he brought in the, what is this called? Eucalyptic. Eucalyptic, it looks like it's dead. I think because he left out in the the three day freeze that we dropped down to below 30 and um, all the branches are dried out. But hopefully it will come back on the bottom. And then we got some sugar apple right here. This is the best, one of my favorite fruit. So hopefully um, it will fruit next year and I will come and steal some. 
Alright, and we got some aloe vera here. We have more lemon. Uh, not lemon. I don't know which. What is this? It's a tag here. Um, another type of citrus. It's a tag, but there's no name on it. I don't know what it is. All right, so here's another lemon. More citrus. More, no, no lemon. Siran Nui. And here's another kumquat, the oval one. This one is pretty sour, I don't like it. And he got a star fruit right here. And jasmine. And over here, he have a setup of growing a bok choy inside right here. And got a mango tree. And I think this is the uh, longan. And I don't know what that is. Is that Chelmaya? Um, I'm not sure what this is. And over here is um, another kumquat, the long elay, elongated type, which is sweet. All right. And he got some light in here that's um, keeping the plant alive. And I really like this setup um, right here. Look how healthy this is. So you can grow, if you have a basement, you pretty much can grow your fruit all, all year round right here with the hydroponic system right here. Especially with bok choy, really easy to grow. Bok choy, bok choy, beautiful. I might get one of this system. We'll see. All right, guys, there it is. So that's how you hand pollinate your citrus when you bring it indoor. Um, they're going to continue to bloom through the whole winter, and then they're going to have another wave of spring that coming out as well. So if you guys find this video helpful, make sure to hit a like and a subscribe button. And I will see you guys on the next video.